In this video, we will be adding and subtracting numbers to the correct significant figures. And we will solve three examples. So let's do the first one. We have 5.769. The next one was 4.31. Whenever we add and subtract significant figures, we determine it by the one with the lowest decimal places. So this has three right here, right? And this has two. And so our answer would only have two at the end. So this is what we would have. So we draw a line like this, and we would get nine, seven, zero. We get 10, right? So we have 10.079. However, we would only have two numbers after the decimal place because this one right here has two, and this has three. So our answer would only have two. So the final answer for this problem would be 10.08. We have two numbers at the end of the decimal. And now we will do the second one, subtraction. So we have 10.795 minus 5.655. In this case, they both have three numbers after the decimal place. So our final answer will also have three numbers after the decimal place. And so we would get 5.14. However, we have three numbers at the end of the decimal place for each number. And so our final answer would be 5.140. So we have three. Finally, we will solve the third one. And this one is slightly different. The first step that we would want to do is create an exponent that would be equal. So we have 10 raised to three and we have 10 raised to five. Instead, I will make both numbers 10 raised to three. So I would have 1.579 times 10 raised to three, and I'll change this in order to get 10 raised to three. So I would get 307.1 times 10 raised to three. This right here is equivalent to this because I could say that 3.071 times 10 raised to five is equal to 307.1 times 10 raised to three. And once we have it in the same form, we do the exact same uh, method. So this one right here has one number after the decimal place, but this one has three. And so our final answer would only have one. So just adding it, we would get 308.679 times 10 raised to three, but to the correct significant figures, we want only one number at the end of the decimal place. So we would get 308.7 times 10 raised to three. This right here is the final answer. And that's all we need to do for these three problems.